All right, guys, we are here at Pritchett Canyon. Today, we've got a special video for you. Jeeps versus the Bronco. We've got quite a few Jeeps. We've got Josh's WJ, the new build. We've got an XJ, we've got a JK. And what the heck is this thing you brought? We got the Bronc Buster today, so we're gonna have some fun, right? This is one of the hardest trails in Moab. We have some warring stickers here, too. We got Jeep Eater. Jeep Eater. And the Bronco Rescue Vehicle. Bronco Rescue. Nice, love it. All right, who's gonna have to rescue who first? We got traffic in front of us, traffic behind us, but let's get started. This video is brought to you by Onyx. All right, guys, this is the WJ. We just got done building on our channel. If you're not familiar with Bleepin' Jeep, we just built this thing, got it finished, brought it straight out here. It's on JK axles, front and rear, 40 inch Milestar tires, full hydro in the front and coilovers. All right, now turn. Yeah, it's got full hydro in the front, which means full hydraulic steering. No linkages whatsoever. Just hydraulic fluid pushing everything. There's an ox locker up front, RCVs, Yukon parts underneath, Iron Rock off-road, suspension, Barnes truss, rock jock anti-rock, Bilstein shocks, and a lot more. Adams drive shaft, detail fab works, bumpers, all kinds of goodies on this thing. We've been calling it the minivan, hashtag van life. If you can't tell, that's a V8 in there, 4.7 liters of raw unadulterated fury. This Bronco is taking some abuse. XJ's for the win. That's right, XJ's for the win. So how early did we have to get here to be the first on the trail at like 5 a.m.? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> we thought we, we were doing do 5 a.m. We thought we were doing so good at 7:30. It's kind of obvious because it's where they've been stacking rocks here. Right. Those are your two tires, and then you just basically ride that straight on up. You just angle up. It, yeah, kind of at an angle and just don't fall in that hole right there if you can keep momentum it'll go right up if you lose momentum then you're going to be stuck on on the next ledge those guys are trying to break stuff over there before we even get to the obstacles why do i see a tool bag out already i do recall him saying a minute ago that all the bolts were loose do you recall that <laughs> well, it's not like it's hard or anything, right? So just roll with it? Is that what you're saying? Just, yeah, we'll just roll with it. Just keep going until yeah. it breaks the axle off. And then it's, we got, hey, Rory, Matt. We got a Bronco to tell you. <laughs> we got the Bronco. Wouldn't be the first time I've been hooked up to it. We got the duct tape ready. Oh, yeah. We're ready. So we got a Allen wrench for the win for the upper control joint here. Oh, it, man, that's beautiful. That is so pretty. Right? That is, uh... I... I I can feel my Jeep smiling already. She's getting a little more duct tape. And then you're gonna leave it like this for the next ride, right? Yes. Oh, I'll fix it in 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll notice the windshield there, it's held in by duct tape. That's why I'm one of the only Jeeps on the road not to have a cracked windshield. All right, getting the Cherokee fixed up over there. The Bronc Buster is gonna be the first one to attempt 
Chewy Hill here. See what he's got. Oh! You're getting into it too late when you go. There's no crawling that bottom ledge. Whoa. Oh, nice. Woo. It's a bucking. Got any tips? More speed. <laughs> Fifth gear, send it. That is how it's done. All right, here goes the W. Rattle kicks in here. Go back down and do it again. You came too far this way. Good job, Joshua. Contestant number four. Look at that. So remind me again why we spent all this money to build your rig. I don't know, he went up it easier than I did. <laughs> I think you ought to just do an even trade. Swapsies? Swap I don't care. <laughs> I'll swapsies for a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna feel like something. All right, just since you're in front, we're gonna call you contestant number one. I already mentioned most everything about your Jeep, but uh, you got anything else to say? You when we get back, uh, back in, I don't know what you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us 30 seconds about your Jeep. Go. It's awesome. <laughs> that was two seconds. That's all I need. <laughs> All right, that's contestant number one. Oh, Freedom Winch Line, forgot that one. To the right, to the right, go, go, go. There you go. <laughs> Hard left. 10 out of 10 for tire lift. I don't know how I should judge this with finesse or skill, or maybe just the number of scrapes. Does that get extra points? Scrapes get extra points. Okay. All right. You got a 10 out of 10 then. <laughs> it's a 99 XJ. It's sitting on a six and a half Rubicon lift. It's on 33 inch tires. It's got a Yukon front axles and everything else is fairly stock other than, you know, sliders, bumpers, and obviously a skip pan for the, uh, gas tank otherwise I would have lost it way back there if you guys remember when we did the cheap cheap challenge with Myrick busted knuckle we were on 35s and a lot more money went into our rigs than this thing so good luck thank you hey it's held together by hope and rust <laughs> <laughs> and some duct tape now <laughs> okay here's a little optional line I'm gonna call it the squeeze you got to come in here and then make a hard right go that way.
trail goes that way. this old chair cat's got. Where's your bead locks at? Right. You're still at the store. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think he's winning hey, for style Jerry, points. I not being able to get up something in their stuff and taking him right up out. No, you don't put that on. Don't put that on camera though. No. I am. I'm putting do not, do not <laughs> put that on camera. <laughs> So that's two undercut. You see right just to the left of that undercut spot? It's all undercut. Like Ease up on it, see how it feels. Come back down and go get more driver. It's one of those where you gotta bump it or or not. It's tall, huh? It's tall. It is tall. Contestant number two. Let's see what you got. I gotta take the bypass. <laughs> okay. Probably run out of time before they catch us, huh? Alright, I'm gonna call this the easiest, medium, hard. Josh did the medium. JK got denied on the hard. Let's see what we got for the Bronco. There's a lot of movement in that bumper. guys all have the alpha male uh, spotting tendency. <laughs> I know the best line, not you. It's really confusing when you're in the driver's seat, huh? It is really confusing and I don't know that any of them. I know you and I trust you, but you don't say anything. <laughs> Give the onions, okay? Give the Jake. Give the Jake from the Hey, it's not yours. Just drive it. Give it the Jake. Drive it like you stole it. That's right. <laughs> All right, great driving. Thank you. a hole with water in it you got to try to straddle that not get your tires wet otherwise it's going to make it much more difficult you're getting your right tires wet oh now you got your left tires wet <laughs> Now all your tires are wet. Go, go, go! Go! You 
got it. You don't think I'm crawling? Yeah, you'll crawl it. That's why I said go. Oh, I thought you were feeding. <laughs> comes the smoke show. Back up and bump it. Nice. Nice job. Woo. Had to get those tires dried off real quick. Make sure to get all your tires wet first. <laughs> Wait, say that again. We need to get some Patagonias on there. Oh, now we got it twice. This one's very deceiving. It's a lot more challenging than you would think just by looking at it. Oh. Oh. Double ouch. <laughs> he just broke his windshield. He's not going to let it go that a WJ made it. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not at all. Until he's on his lid. That's the line. You got to go, Pretty hard if this chair can't I beats bet it that does. JK and that Bronco. I bet it does. Oh no! <laughs> Another I windshield? I totally jinxed it. So this windshield is not held in by anything but duct tape. Hey, that's why I'm one of the only Jeeps on the road not to have a cracked windshield. <laughs> and it just cracked. Did it crack? It cracked. Same spot's yours. <laughs> it's a new phrase. You just put that Bronco and that JK to shame, and oh, you're on a Dana 35. Oh, really? Yep. Look at that. What do you have to say for yourself? Whoa. That she whooped your butt. Longer will be. Let's go real slow for a minute here. Alright, guys, now the. <laughs> you were just waiting for that, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, now is the time I'm going to talk about Onyx because a lot of people don't know this, but when you run Pritchett, when you get to the end, which we are at at the end right now, when I'm cutting this into the video, the end of Pritchett is not the end. You still have another hour of trails to do to get off of the trail back to the highway. Now the problem is, if you don't know where you're going, you could get crazy lost. Just look at this. Look at how many trails there actually are to find your way back to the highway. It's a maze of trails, a spider web of trails. And without the Onyx app, you might get lost out here for weeks. So we're using that to find our way back. We're gonna find the quickest way. Looks like it's gonna be down here, down here, down here, across here, over here, through here, through here, over there, and maybe we'll get to the highway in about 10 days. Without that, it could be months. So when you go to download your Onyx off-road map, use the coupon code bleepin' Jeep, lowercase bleepin' Jeep. If you forget that, go to our website, bleepinjeep.com. Member discounts up at the top will get you 20% off your subscription. Onyx Maps. And pick up your bleeping trash.
Just threw a pee bottle in here. Contestant number, I think you're number two. Tell us about your JK here. All right, so this is uh, Bandit underscore JKU. I built it myself in my garage with my bare hands. It's running Ultimate Dana 60 crate axles, a Hydro Assist PSC up front, King Coil Overs Bolt On from Evo, a custom made long arms by Rock Jock. It's three linked in the rear by uh, Rock Crawlers, three link cape for the Ultimate Dana 60s. What do you think your chances are today of, of being the top dog of all four rigs? Well, I'm really, really impressed with that uh, Grand Cherokee on a couple obstacles back ago. Well, I think I could be top contender. All right. Uh, I think I think I can beat your Grand Cherokee. You heard it here. All he right. thinks he can take on a WJ, Josh. With a what buggy you, chassis. What do you say to that? I say we turn around, go back down to the trail, and there's this little obstacle with water in front of it. <laughs> I, I told you. <laughs> Listen, you have a buggy chassis. I have bolt-on no, cars. No, that's a WJ chassis. No, it's not. It's all WJ. No, he's already told me. It's like a buggy chassis underneath there. No, he misspoke. Wait, no, he did. Are you talking about the part where the, the teenage girl drove up? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah, that part. No. <laughs> yeah. I hit that one. All right. We just made it to Rucker Knocker. This one is also deceiving on camera. A lot steeper than it looks. You got your Rucker Knocker on the left. Middle line, which is straight up. I've never seen anybody do the right line. It's really undercut over there. You're just going straight for the buggy line? Yeah. You need to bump it. The middle line, you stick your passenger tire right in that crack right there. I can't see my passenger tire. Well, you got to feel it. You're going to have to bump it all the way up to there and then back up again and bump it again. A little more whoop house. Nice! Now you went the wrong way. Trail goes that way. You got front dig? No? Just Austin Powers it. You're only 12 foot off the ground. Don't worry about it. That's the most excited I've ever seen Josh, <laughs> ever. That's awesome. Good job. Oh, getting light.
Ready to bust some Broncos? Let's bust it. He goes sideways, I'm gonna tackle you and we'll both go that way. Perfect. Come on. Walk it over. Hey. Yeah. Driver, driver, driver. Just walk it. Walk it. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Freedom winch line for the win. Freedom winch line, y'all, just saying. <laughs> you turning around there? Go higher, 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 higher. All the way left. All the way left. Turn. Now back up. You good? You got 10 feet. You built them. You should trust them. You got another four foot. Okay. Josh, look at the back of the pack back there. There's a silver vehicle. Oh, I've seen it already. I've been eyeballing it. <laughs> I've been eyeballing it. You got competition. Mm, that's all right. I thought we had the coolest WJ. Guess Did you not. lie to me? I might have. <laughs> Is it safe to say at this point that 
Jeep One? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We haven't made it to the end of Rocker Knocker yet. He might pull out all the stops next. Yeah, he might reckless abandon now. <laughs> Freedom winch line. <laughs> All right, so that just goes around the cage back to itself. There you go. Just walked it right there. I don't think you even needed that. Just as a safety yeah, precaution. Second, yeah. Go ahead and back down and do it again. And I or not. <laughs> well, maybe let's send the other one up. Nice. 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 You need some of those? Oh my God. Like You're going to need probably, probably all, all of them. them. I think one ought to do it. One ought to. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, I was going to call him out on that. No, I can't. It's on it's, the other side. It's covered up. That'll fix it. We're ready to start it. Look at that. Just so you know, Team WJ went straight up. He told me, I know, I, I hope so I don't let him down. Don't let us down. <laughs> That's <laughs> you got this. Yep. We gotta show up all these JKs we out do. here. He's going to give it a shot here. Oh! That's the line. It's so close. There it goes! Cherokees for the win! Dana 35 in that Cherokee on 33s. That's nuts. All right. We are finally not trail plugs any longer. Bronco is running again, kind of. And there's a lot of people behind us now. Contestant number three in the Bronc Buster here. Tell me about this thing. Well, Bronc Buster here, we've got uh, 40 inch uh, Milestar tires. Of course, we got the front end has been beefed up uh, on the uh, Ultimate 44 Dana 32 spline CVs. It's got all of our parts for the steering that keeps the steering from breaking. Upgraded steering rack um, with all the Bronc Buster parts, the build aluminum. Bodyguards bumper right now, but we have our own version coming out here soon. These are some uh, light bars and stuff we make. Of course, the rock slide engineering. All of but that's alien to me. I don't know yeah. what any of that means. <laughs> Maybe you guys do. Why does it say Jeep Eater on the back? Because it's fun to get a rise out of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Why is the side of it all torn up? Well, we, uh, we just went up rocker knocker and uh, had a little bit of a mishap. So we, we ended up on its top. 
we're still driving. We're, we're going to complete uh, the day out. It's smoking a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's probably got a little oil in it. All the airbags deployed. Oh, no. What did you do? Uh, you knifed them out? You just cut them out. I don't know if I like the placement of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Perfect. You got a scratch right there, so that needed to be it covered up. It needed to be up. covered up. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll go with that. Yeah. What about your tailgate? Ah, uh, tailgate's good. You know, <laughs> it just needs an adjustment in it. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Oh, shoot. Well, things are falling out. Things are falling out. <laughs> Somebody was eating pistachios. <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, you were. Uh, yeah, they, they were. Uh, oh, here you go. Look. Here's the rest of the bag. They made it. They're up in front when this all started, so somehow they worked their way to the back. Okay, so Josh is going to take uh, the hard line, I guess, on the broken step here. This is the typical line. Looks like he's lined up for the far side. taking the bypass but straight into a rock here Let me turn my on. you don't need them they won't do you any good see all four tires in the air. <laughs> so do you want the left line or right line? Whatever line you don't break an axle. They both look about the same to me. Okay, do the right line then. Right. Cherokee's going for the hard line. Us Cherokee folk know how to send it. Send it. Nice. Dana 35 on 33s for the win. What do you got in the rear? Just lunchbox lockers. It's all original. Really? Yeah. Stock shafts? Stock shafts. Holy cow. Why won't the orange one hold up? No, we can't keep axle shafts in that one. Really? Yeah. And it has no tread on the tires. I like it's your... Red. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is it holding strong still? Well, let's see. Oh, nice. Let's put in there. Yeah, it's still straight. Hey, so you'll go the rest of the week. You don't even need to We're looking good. <laughs> looking real good. Nothing, oh. nothing holding the ram in place, but just gravity. In fact, this here is a farm ram right here. It's not even a vehicle ram. <laughs> <laughs> Suico out of Sutter, California. <laughs> Dana 44s and Milestar stars. I have no chance, right? <laughs> Dana 44s and Milestar forties for the win. Okay, one shot wonder right here. No pressure. Oh, so it slid off. Slow down a little bit towards the top. Got in those holes that are back here. Get your rear end farther towards me. It, it sounds crazy, but if you hit it a little more of an angle this way, it'll help you. See what 
that JK's got. So these things right here are called Moki marbles. What are they? And they come right out of the rock. They're little calcium deposits that come out of the rock. Oh! Get turned on. Close. You're gonna have to come up more at an angle this way to keep your bumper from hitting. Hard right and back up. Just barely. Whoa, whoa, not too far. Okay, go forward, don't go back. Do that again and roll into it. Whoa. There it goes. You know this is called Axel Hill, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just found out. Let's see if you break Axel. He's so much fun, dude. I tell you. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. Nobody's done what I've seen him do all the time. Because he's got no money in this is, thing. Is he a machinist and somehow machine oh. Dana 60 spine? Right. Right. I just watched your guys' lines and I was like, I was going to back up and I'm like, I think I have it. I don't know. I think your shirt says it's perfect right there. Oh, That's my right. beer. <laughs> it's a fun jag. It's, it's fun. Jake. Ooh, CJ. Something happening up there. Yeah, this one's fine. Ah! Next oh, yeah. time, give it a little bit of throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Which way are you going? Are you going to try to do rock pile? I looked at it. <laughs> That's good enough. All right. I'll say I did it. So you're gonna take the hard line on Son of Rock Pile? If that's the hard line, to the left, if that's what we're taking. Okay. Hard, hard. He's gonna try this straight through. I was kind of thinking that too. Rear steer to the left. Turn hard right and back up. Okay, now get your rear end over this way. I think, I think you need to come up right here. You gotta get your rear this way or else it's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna have to back up more, back up more. There, now right, hard right, back up. Now you can take any line you want. You're not gonna hit the, the rear axle. I told him there was a hole there. He didn't believe me. This, this undercut over here is twice as tall as your tire. That's why I was wanting you over there. Well, you're just 
You're hitting your grill. Josh got overzealous. He wanted more challenging. Now he's all bound up in there. It's going. Nice. Okay, let's reassess here before you do anything dumb. That's your line straight ahead. It's either going to go or it's going to break. So. Nothing? Nothing. There's a ledge. <laughs> but yeah, you'll be fine. You're gonna have to send it if you want it. broke your windshield you might as well go for it fist bump <coughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, too hard of a fist bump he's choking <laughs> good job on that excellent spotting he's gonna do the same same thing here Keep going. Oh. Turn right. There it goes. Oh. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to like it there, so I wouldn't send it right away. Bottom down on your belly. Whoa. See I would, uh, that, this is a good opportunity to reset if you can. Get jammed. Ow. So you guys are used to this. Some people think rock stacking is cheating, other people think 37 is tired for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> just has to get to the obstacle first. What? What? <laughs> One shot wonder over here. You did it again. <laughs> Way to go, dude. Watching everybody else, I was worried. Everybody's gonna want to know your Instagram now. You got an Instagram or something? I'm not on Instagram. Whoa. No, I got a Facebook, Levi Patterson out of Northern California, out All of the right. city. There so. you go, you want to see crazy stuff. So the exit, super simple, just straight up. I can tell you that the right side over here, you should probably look at it if you're planning on going in there. But I wasn't able to make it with the Scorpion with no rear steer. Like right here? Go look at it. Okay. There. Okay, Josh is lining up for the super buggy line, which is right here. I've never been able to make that. 
I think he wants to show me up. This is the easy line. This is the exit out, the very last obstacle. That's steep. Okay, let's see what you got. It's undercut, come more, come more driver. Don't knock those rocks down, that's what you need for the bat. But somebody cheated. going to crawl it you might as well use them as a ramp now oh, you got a whole foot over there whoa that was so close I think you want to be up there. That's a good photo op. Hold on. We got to do photo op. It's smoking. Smoking. Here comes snack crackle pop. Climb that rock on your driver's side. Back up, driver. Thanks to Onyx, we know exactly when we started and that was nine hours ago. We went exactly 5.8 miles. I think half of that was me walking back and forth, winching you. Me? Yep. It was just backwards. <laughs> oh, rock. Now, we have to drive out of here all the way to the highway. How many miles? It's another hour at least. Yeah. All right, we just got done running Pritchett. We had four competitors today. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there that uh, the Bronco didn't do so hot. Hey now, I don't have a broken windshield. I rolled the thing, I've only got one broken piece of glass. <laughs> Drivable, I got it the rest of the way through Pritchett. I only winched once. All right, WJ, so, what do you say? About mine or the Bronco? About, <laughs> about your job today, how did you perform? I thought I performed great. Okay. What? What happened over here? I uh, just got turtled and had to be pulled backwards to get off a rock. But other than that, JK did great. All right. Did, wasn't there a line that JK couldn't do that that this teenager did in a, a fun J? <laughs> I feel the daggers. He oh sees that baby seal. I'm going to start running. And you guys, oh. I don't know. I'm going to let the audience vote. But you guys rocked it. I don't think you had a winch all day, no? Uh, actually, at the very beginning, when we pulled off a rock and found out that we needed to put an Allen wrench to hold my suspension together and duct tape it all in. That was helpful. Yeah, that was super helpful. Okay, so they did take one winch, but their Jeep is held together literally with duct tape. So, I'm going to let you guys vote in the comments. Who do you think won this challenge? Let me know down below. Until then, we got more videos for you over there. Check those out. We'll see you guys next time. We just wrapped this video. I might have to take that back. Now we got a breakage. Another bronc buster. Holy smokes. After all that. Finished Pritchett. Got right off of it about 10 feet.
and broke it's side rod. rod. <laughs> <laughs> you are a Bronco owner, but I'll give it to you that you can work on your own junk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like 10, 15 minutes. He's all fixed up. We're good to head back down the trail again. Thank you.